everybody welcome back to my channel this is Michelle um, from East Bay Stamp Chick that's my channel and thanks so much for joining me today I just had a quick project share for you I wanted to show you something that I'm making and I have considering making you know several of and would love some feedback so hopefully some of you will chime in and give me some comments on this and you know right now it is September so I'm definitely doing some Halloween makes and one of the things I'm making is this right here and this is a traveler's notebook and it is laminated you can tell you know by the glare that there is that coating on there this is the front and back has a wrap around ribbon closure with a brad like a um, eyelid I guess actually is what it is you open it up and we've got a cute little library card pocket here the little kitty peeking out and the inside of course is laminated as well so it's it's really sturdy and we've got some patterned paper but it's uh, thin it's like copy paper weight then you've got your white paper, you've got your center with some another patterned paper and more white paper and then the back and that's it. So what do you think about these? And you can see here's the binding, just some um, white thread on there. Some, it's like a waxed uh, string twine type of thing for binding. But what do you think about these? I'd love to hear. I have a lot of paper that is like this and let me show you the collection and it's called um, Halloween Basics it's from Recollections it's from last year this was a 90 piece pad I've been using it um, I've already showed a couple of projects that I've made with this and I was thinking a great way to smash this this uh, collection because it's huge I mean this is a lot 90 sheets is a lot of paper <laughs> would be to make some of these um, and because the paper is thin I really love the fact that this is laminated and of course it's on cardstock as well so it just makes it you know thicker better um, and then of course on the inside what's nice is that it is lightweight and it's white on the back so it's easy to write or you know do whatever you want to do in your notebook and so I was thinking about making several of these and putting them in my Etsy shop and it would all be of course the Halloween paper with you know various um, embellishments but they would all have the library card and a little pocket so I don't know what do you guys think about this um, I think it's cute I don't know if people would want it or want to use it um, but I think it's nice in that it is laminated so it's durable it would fit into your traveler's notebook journal if you wanted to use it you know if you had one of those um, notebook journals where it might be leather bound and you have several traveler's notebooks in there you could slide it into that and use it you know for whatever so I don't know, but I have, you know, a ton of this paper. It'd be a really easy way to really smash my stash and get rid of this paper pad. I don't love thin paper for card making and for journal making like, you know, um, some of the other types of journals that I make. I really like a thicker paper. So I thought this could be a great way to get rid of the collection. So anyways, so that's it. Uh, so quick, easy video. Let me know what you think if you can. Give me a comment and um, yeah, because you might be uh, seeing a whole bunch of these coming up. <laughs> so it could be fun. It's a fun project, I think. Um, and even if I put them in my Etsy shop and people end up not being interested, it's something I could definitely give away to friends. But I had thought it might be fun to even make some Christmas ones. I have a Christmas pad that is very lightweight as well. And so it'd be fun to make Christmas ones. Um, you know, just do a few different types in there and um, it could be a really great little traveler's notebook. So anyway, so that's it for today. Hope you guys um, are having a great day and thank you so much for joining me and spending some time with me. I look forward to seeing you next time.
Bye-bye.